Some brands elicit an automatic thought of quality when you hear their name in conversation. For Japanese brands, names like Yamaha, Marantz, Denon, Sony, and Ankyo produce those thoughts. Now, while Ankyo is a smaller brand than Sony or Yamaha, you can never count them out when it comes to making products that use the newest technologies available and have the build quality and performance that compete with some of the best out there. Ankyo's brand new RZ70 flagship home theater is finally here. But will it live up to the hype that the RZ50 had? Let's take a look. We'll first go over all the features and technology inside the RZ70, and there's a lot. But note that if you do end up purchasing it or any other gear from AudioAdvice.com, you'll have our entire team of experts just to call, chat, or email away to give you lifetime support if you need it. Now once we cover the basics, we'll jump into how we set it up and give our thoughts on the performance testing. First up, let's talk about amps. Knowing high quality audio, Ankyo wanted to design an integrated component with enough power to drive more speakers that normally would require a separate amplifier to drive. Now while many of today's AV receivers utilize Class D amplifier sections, Ankyo wanted their most powerful receiver to incorporate Class AB amplifier topology to ensure the best sound possible while keeping power high and heat in check. The RZ70 features an oversized transformer in its own sub-enclosure to keep any noise at bay while providing all of the power that each amplifier module and circuit would need. A solid power supply is a must for any audio component, but it's most important in an amplifier, and it's one area often overlooked by many manufacturers. Many home theater receivers in the market today fall short of their power specification when driven into multiple channels and they can't handle the dynamic peaks in today's movie soundtracks. Well, Ankyo has designed the power supply for the RZ70 to ensure that there is enough power on tap for those soundtracks while also powering a full suite of home theater speakers. With 140 watts into 8 ohms into 2 channels, there's enough power that when multiple channels are needed, the RZ70 has enough power to power all of the speaker systems likely to be used with this model. Now having 11 amplifier channels gives you the ability to power a complete 7.1.4 Atmos speaker system with height channels, and you can have a 5 channel or 7 channel speaker system in your main room and appoint a zone 2 or zone 3 to power other rooms with remaining channels that are fully independent from your main room. And if you do want more power or just the ability to upgrade to different amps, the RZ70 has preamp outputs for all of the channels. There are also trigger outputs so that these additional power amps can even be turned on and off by the RZ70. It utilizes a pair of top quality ESS Saber DACs for its digital to analog processing, which is the same processor used in some of the better stereo DACs on the market today. Another benefit of using the ESS Saber DACs is that they can handle just about any audio codec, and they're known for their measured performance, giving you the maximum signal to noise and distortion specs available today. The RZ70 is compatible with Dolby Atmos, DTSX, Oro 3D, and IMAX Enhanced. It has six 8K 60Hz HDMI inputs and a front-mounted 4K 60Hz input for convenience. Now these are full HDMI 2.1 with Dolby Vision, HDR10+, and HDCP 2.3 support for all of the back panel HDMI ports. This allows you to connect multiple gaming systems and a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray player along with a PC or any other super high quality video component you may have. The main HDMI output has eARC, which allows an audio return channel from this connection with full Dolby Atmos or DTSX support for multi-channel sound from your TV should you use its inboard streaming or content apps. In addition, you also have composite and component inputs for those of you who want to connect up a legacy gaming system, and there's even a phono input to hook up your turntable to this receiver. And we are also pleased to report that there are two independent subwoofer outputs. Ankyo has also included its QMS tech, which reduces the screen blanking effect when switching between sources. And another cool feature is the ability to have discrete HDMI switching for Zone 2. This means that while in a main room you could be playing an 8K movie, and then in Zone 2 you could also be playing from a different source in 4K. This next feature is a big one, and it could be reason enough to get the RZ70 over any of its competitors. They've included the full bandwidth version of Dirac Live. For free! You also get the option to upgrade Dirac Live bass control from one sub to multiple subs for $4.99. While well, the Dirac Live that comes with the RZ70 can manage one subwoofer, the multi-sub upgraded version handles more than one sub and includes much more adjustability. Now, Having Dirac Live included is a huge deal because many receivers make you pay for this feature separately and also don't give you the option to add on Dirac Live bass control. 
We believe Drac is one of the best room calibration softwares on the market today, so we were extremely happy to see it included with this receiver. While this receiver is relatively easy to set up and has some decent on-screen menus, you should make sure that you set it up correctly to get the best performance. Now we have an in-depth guide on how to set up your AV receiver and we also have another in-depth guide on how to best set up Dirac for your room that we will link below. And when you purchase from Audio Advice, our team of experts will provide you with lifetime support for any questions that may arise. And for you gamers out there, don't worry, I haven't forgot about you. Onkyo has you covered here. All of the HDMI ports are 4K 120 capable, and they've also included VRR, ALLM, and QFT to give gamers an edge by eliminating all of the video issues associated with high refresh rate gaming. And for the sake of being thorough, there's also a Dolby Atmos Height Virtualizer, which is a mode that allows you to get most of the benefits of Atmos Height channels without the need to run more cables and mount speakers in your room. While we still think that dedicated height channel speakers are needed for the utmost performance in Dolby Atmos, having this feature is excellent for people who just can't install those speakers if they're renting. The RZ70 also has smart AV receiver technology, which allows music to be streamed directly from any of these sources. It also lets you have multi-room audio via Chromecast, AirPlay 2, and DTS PlayFi, and it's also room ready, works with Sonos, and Alexa voice control is supported. In addition, it will interface with Control 4, Crestron, and Savant home automation systems. Now, bidirectional Bluetooth technology allows this RZ70 to receive audio from your favorite devices in an SBC or AAC codec. Also, if you have a favorite pair of Bluetooth headphones you use around the house, the RZ70 will transmit audio in SBC, Aptex, and Aptex HD. This allows the use of the newest headphone technologies and codecs to preserve the quality of the signal while also allowing you to use older Bluetooth headphones if you wish. Onkyo has also worked with Klipsch to implement a Klipsch optimized mode that owners of Reference and Reference Premier models can simply select which model they own for each channel and this RZ70 will optimize the crossover for each speaker. The setup for this RZ70 was pretty straightforward and after connecting our speakers, our source components and our network connections, we were up and running. Now I really like the clean front panel design that wasn't cluttered with controls like some AVRs have. And I especially like the simple mode selectable bass, vocal, and treble controls on the front panel to make those quick tone control adjustments. Now the front panel also has a button layout with each input as a separate button, which was much faster and easier than many receivers with only an input cycle button on the front panel. But for those of you who may be hiding this in a rack, the remote was also intuitive and very easy to use. In two channel mode listening to music, we found that the RZ70 had a neutral frequency balance and allowed us to hear well into the music, showing the quality of the amplifiers and circuits inside here. Willie Nelson's 2023 album Bluegrass showed us that the RZ70 is a musically talented component. The stand-up bass presented itself naturally and had good body while staying tight and detailed. Acoustic guitars sounded full of detail, allowing us to hear the tones of these instruments. And Willie's voice was natural and it was focused. But we knew that a home theater receiver was never gonna produce the lifelike soundstage and image layering of a dedicated high-end two-channel component. The RZ70 did an admirable job of letting us just forget that this is actually an all-in-one component. One of the really impressive areas of the RZ70 was the treble. Many home theater receivers have amplifiers that do well with the fast, dynamic passages of a movie soundtrack, but fall short when playing music. These receivers sometimes overemphasize the treble or make it sound brittle and etched. This was not the case with the RZ70, as it kept the treble sounding smooth and natural. The combination of using Class AB amplifiers, as well as Ankyo's dedication to circuit design, allowed the music to really sing. Fink's 2017 album, Resurgam, is one of those albums you just put on and play, enjoying all the sonics and great soundwriting. The RZ70 allowed us to hear into this album and showed us that a heavy bass line isn't a problem for this receiver. On the title song, Resurgam, the bass drum is tuned low and can definitely sound muddy on speakers driven by lesser amplifiers. But with the RZ70, with its 140 watts at 8 ohms, allowed good driver control, keeping the bass tight and detailed. Now Fink's vocals had clarity and were placed in the correct center image. The hi-hats that come into the song around the 2 minute mark are very detailed and can be strident on some components, but the RZ70 kept its composure, allowing us to enjoy this track without any glare or harshness in the treble. Again, sometimes we forgot that we were listening to a home theater receiver and not a dedicated two-channel integrated amp. Moving on to multi-channel audio, which most of you were probably interested in, we played several movie soundtracks that we feel tested the receiver's ability in the theater mode. Playing tracks from movies like Top Gun Maverick and The Greatest Showman and Six Underground 
we were impressed with both the processing ability and the amplifier section of the RZ70. Now all these soundtracks sounded dynamic and immersive without any glare or compression, giving credence to Honkyo's decision to use better DACs in this flagship receiver. Now with a healthy power output, the RZ70 should satisfy all home theater lovers using decently efficient speakers in a normal sized room. Dolby Atmos movies, they just sounded fantastic on this receiver. It placed surround effects perfectly around our theater, and with Dirac, we got an overall brilliant presentation during watching movies. And during testing the race scene in Six Underground specifically, every small detail in the Atmos mix was heard really well and spaced out evenly. And it was even capable of providing plenty of power for the big dynamic explosions, and we could still distinctly hear the rear and Atmos sound effects in the mix. Have we heard better? Sure, but we'd argue that the RZ70 is comparable in sound quality to units that are actually higher in price. The RZ70 certainly packs a punch for a flagship receiver. It seems to have everything you could ask for and is sure going to be a popular choice just like the previous RZ50 was. However, to find out for your specific situation, our team of experts at AudioAdvice.com can take a look at your specific system and help you decide if the RZ70 is a good match for you. If you're building or upgrading your home theater or media room, you have to check out our home theater page at audioadvice.com where we have everything from our free home theater design tool, buyer's guides, installation videos, and an inspiration gallery, and so much more. It's truly your one-stop shop for everything you will need when it comes to audio and video. We also offer free shipping, lifetime support, and a price guarantee on all of our products. In addition, our home theater experts are just to call, chat, email, or visit to one of our showrooms away from helping you design your dream home theater with a full 3D rendering, gear recommendations, and custom layout advice to be sure that you have an incredible home entertainment experience no matter what your budget is. Now let me know in the comments below what you think about the new Onkyo RZ70 flagship receiver and if you're going to be picking one up. Now if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.